Hello everyone! Happy Pi Day! Today we are going to be calculating Pi by hand. No calculators, no tools, no internet, only by hand. So first we are going to draw 4 12 by 12 squares at random places. Then we are going to draw a circle with a radius of 6 cm inside the squares. This is how it looks. Turn the page and start making dots with pens. If you like, you can close your eyes so it will be more random. Keep doing this until you think it's enough. Then it's time to turn the page again. This is how it looks. So now I'm gonna explain how we're gonna calculate pi. Let's assume the side of the square is 1. So the radius of the circle would be a half. This is because the length of the side of a square is the diameter of a circle. So the logic behind calculating pi is that the area of the circle divided by the area of the square should equal to the dots inside the circle divided by the dots inside the square. So the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, divided by the area of the square, which is side length squared, which is 1 squared, should equal pi 1 half squared. Anything divided by 1 is equal to itself. So this should equal pi times half squared, which is 1 by 4. So this would become pi by 4. So if we do the dots in the circle divided by the dots in the square, we get pi by 4. And if we times that by 4, we get pi. Now count the dots in the circle and the squares. These are the results that we got. The first square has 923 dots and the circle has 659 dots. Similarly, the others have 916 dots and 1124 dots, followed by 589 and 750, and 709 and 881. Now I'm going to calculate pi by hand without a calculator. 659 plus 916 plus 709 plus 589, all that divided by 923 plus 1124 plus 881 plus 750. So 2873 divided by 3678. The divisor is less than the dividend, so we add a zero point and add a zero to the dividend. I think I'm going to multiply the divisor by seven. I got an answer of 25,746. I'm going to try and see if eight times work as well. It doesn't work. So now this number I think would go by 8. This will go times 1. After subtraction we get 482. This will again go by 1. This should go by times 3, I think, because 3 times 4 would become 12, which is larger than that. Now we just have to multiply the quotient by 4.
And now we get pi, 3.12452. Now let's see how accurate our answer is. So pi minus our estimation of pi, which is 3.12452 equals 0 0.01707. Now we divide our answer by pi. Now we multiply our answer by 100, which gives us 0.543%. Now if we subtract 0.5434 from 100, we get 99.4566%. This is our accuracy percentage. Happy Pi Day! Thanks for watching! Remember to like, share, and subscribe.